Fuck the hell out of fabulous moolah. Oh, hi, folks. It's a real honesty with John Rithlin. The derb's over in Mission Control. Hello. And, yeah, for those that didn't know already, the fabulous moolah is having a battle royal named after her. Because women getting buried in one match and getting buried over and over and over is what Fabulous Moolah did throughout her entire career and miserable life. For those that aren't aware, <coughs> outside of what she did in her career, and I encourage you guys to Google Fabulous Moolah's stories, because various wrestlers that she trained and had a hand in their careers, or earlier careers, have recounted, including names like Sherry Martell, Luna Vachon, I believe in Lonnie Kai, Wendy Richter didn't have very nice things to say about her either. Um, Hall of Famer Wendy Richter, by the way. At least they were able to make that up to her after screwing her at WrestleMania 2. Vince, why do you hate women so much besides Sable? And why did you push Sable, the stupid idiot that she is? I'm going to reserve the C word, aka cunt, for Moolah. Because Moolah, especially with all this stuff pretty much being out in the open, Human trafficking of her trainees, sending them out to wrestlers and promoter, promoters and wrestlers, basically to be used as essentially sex slaves. And, you know, keeping a lot of money from them, holding them back, if women ever got too big, Mula, the fragile ego bitch that she was, held them down. Mula, who, by the way, I mean, yes, a lot of offense for Mula wasn't necessarily that good. There were certain wrestlers, and quite a few wrestlers, in the <clears throat> from the 30s to all the way to the 80s and 90s, and even now that have their own set routine. And I'm not talking about women, I'm talking just women, I'm talking about men too. But Mula was always jealous, and you could tell, of the fame and the you know the star that was Mildred Burke. Who I'm not saying was necessarily a perfect person either. You could read story you can read stories about a lot of people, and they're not perfect people. May Young, you know. Fabulous Moolah's friend wasn't exactly the best person either. She was more willing to get back to the business than Moolah ever was. Again, I'm not, you know, taking any, I'm not, you know, trying to sweep any of May Young's stuff under the rug. Again, you can Google that stuff, because it would take an hour to cover all these stories. And I don't want to fail to do justice to those. But Fabulous Moolah screwing over trainees the way that some of them were sent out before they were 18, that would be constituted as child endangerment, you know, child slavery, pedophilia, <clears throat> and stuff like that. You know, engaging and, you know, having a hand in that kind of stuff happening. Whatever the laws were, that's how it would be now. But let's just, so all that, encourage you guys to Google that stuff, but that right there is a reason, oh yeah, let's pump up the name of the fabulous Moolah. Look, Vince loved her, she did, made a lot of money for Vince, and was one of his, um, <clears throat> one of his, you know, favorite people, you know, because he, she worked for his dad, and women's wrestling, mostly in America, was used as an attraction, at least in WWE, and in part the reason it was not seen as such a big monumental pool of talent is pretty much because Fabulous Moolah held everybody back. Because she had a fragile ego. She had a hand in the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships being null and void. The Glamour Girls and the Jumping Bomb Angels were supposed to have a match at WrestleMania 4. Now think about that. After the original screw job with Ren Wendy Richter and Fabulous Moolah under a uh, <clears throat> mask and called the spider the spider lady or some variation I can't recall the name exactly right after screwing her over and Wendy Richter leaving like leaving in her gear getting the ticket and going home getting a plane ticket and going home and it took years to make that up to Wendy Richter I'm not even sure they still technically did even put her in the Hall of Fame Ben should have cut her a huge check for that Glamour Girls and Jumping Bomb Angels were supposed to have a match at WrestleMania 4 in Trump Plaza, which four women in Trump Plaza. Well, of course, you know, the now idiotic leader in chief would have had a chance to get all those women. And well, I'm just not going to go into that right now, but it's no wonder that Vince and Trump are such good friends because they like degrading women. Going back to Mula, because she 
decided to screw over both those teams. The way it happened, basically, she said there should be... She said, oh, these guys, you know, in the company said there should be a title change. You should beat the Jumping Bomb Angels, I believe, in Japan or on some kind of tour. I think they were in Japan, if I recall the article correctly. <clears throat> and because the Jumping Bomb Angels were supposed to keep the tag titles, but the Glamour Girls were like, okay, well, if this happened, they did a title change. Word got back to Pat Patterson and various other people. That match got scrapped. Those women got screwed out of a big payday. All the while, Moolah got to skate away free. And Moolah gets seen as such a great pioneer of women's wrestling. Moolah was one of the biggest detriments to women's wrestling. Mildred Burke helped you know, popularize women's wrestling for the right reasons. And I encourage you guys to read stories on her and see if there are any documentaries out there, because I'm sure there are, and I can't recall the titles right now because I'm just that pissed. So now we go to what WWE did. <clears throat> They, on Raw last night, we're recording this right before SmackDown, so it'll probably go up during SmackDown. Possibly. Or afterwards. WWE is going to, you know, instead of the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal that they've done for the men, which has done such a great job pushing talent, and it's not Andre's fault. Andre the Giant, for all his, for all his faults and for all the issues he had, was beloved by a lot of people. And gave back to the business and did the right thing a lot and was a pretty damn good guy during his short time on this earth, despite being so tall. But they decide for the women, we're going to call it the Fabulous Moolah Memorial Battle Royal. It didn't even take five fucking minutes for Reddit articles and other stuff to come out and, you know, old stuff, old shoot interviews, and I don't remember where people got these from, <coughs> of wrestlers that had either tra been trained by Fabulous Moolah or Fabulous Moolah had held back and had a hand in, you know, doing some pretty nasty things you know, to them and getting nasty things done to them. Moolah had a hand in a lot of bullshit that happened. Because she was a rotten cunt. And, sorry, I hope Moolah's burning in hell for what she did. And by the way, if you guys, if, if you guys are fans of Fabulous Moolah, that's fine. Cool. You guys can appreciate her wrestling career all you want. But you need to realize she buried a whole lot of people. Is she the only wrestler to bury lots of people? No. I'm just going to mention Hulk Hogan for no fucking reason. He's a pretty big bitch himself. And hates black people because he's a bitch. And an idiotic racist. He shouldn't be allowed to be back on top. <coughs> Fabulous Mula Memorial Battle Royal. This is going to be one of the only times I advocate for China because I was never a big fan of China. I didn't like her work. Didn't I, I just didn't. I'm not going to factor China doing the porn, but the fact that they they give that as a reason. Triple H and others have given that for a reason. Oh, they can Google that stuff and see the porn. Okay, one, I've never seen any of it and I don't want to. But if that's your excuse, you have Sonny in the Hall of Fame. And Sonny since then has bashed Bailey and Candace, even though Sonny on her best day can never look as good as either woman does on their worst day. And looks literally like a pile of Arby's roast beef left out in the sun for about five years. And Arby's roast beef probably smells better than Sonny does. Makes pig pen with his smell and his dirt seem clean by comparison. Sonny does all the stuff she does, still does Skype calls, all that stuff, has spoken out against company, keeps getting in trouble because she's an idiot. Addiction or not, she's an idiot for doing what she did, even though they put her through rehab multiple times. China. You could have named this after China as a way to maybe bridge the gap and put her in the Hall of Fame next year. And I'm not even that big of a fan of China, but at this point, if you're going to honor Moolah after all the stuff she's done, <clears throat> whether you're a fan of China or not, she didn't do that. She didn't do this stuff. Memorial, honor Miss Elizabeth. Even though Miss Elizabeth family said she doesn't really, they don't really want anything to do with wrestling. Sherry Martell. Um... I don't want to say Luna Vachon necessarily, because I don't know if they would do that for her. I don't know if that many people would remember the name. But Luna Vachon, various other women have passed away. If you want to do it as a way to honor current alive women, Trish Stratus, Wendy Richter, Alani Kai, Alundra Blaze, Lita. You know, women they're alive again. But there are other women that have passed on you could use this name for. And the fact that it's Fabulous Mula, that's what you did. You're going to get a ton of backlash. Will people still watch the program? Yes, I will be watching it here in a bit. WWE 
has shown that they really don't care. Oh, hey, I guess the winner or all the women, you know, and including the winner, will get pimped out. That's going to be the grand prize winner. It's what Fabulous Moolah would have wanted. And Fabulous Moolah was, a, was an evil individual. I believe Jamie Saville, Saville, he's somebody that they, they compared him to, or they compared her to. <clears throat> and judging by what I've read about him, yeah, that sounds about right. So fabulous Moolah. I hope she burns and is burning in hell for what she did. She was not good for women's wrestling. She held back a lot of women, pretty much every woman she trained. Human trafficking, child endangerment, child slavery. What else would you like to say about Moolah as a reason as to why she should be honored? Her legacy should be buried and she should never be remembered. I'm not going to knock any of the women, except Stephanie McMahon, because I knock any of the female wrestlers that tweeted about Fabulous Moolah. They may not know. But I'm going to knock WWE for this. This is a bad look. And then, what's next? The Jimmy Snuka Intergender Battle Royal? Benoit winning Father of the Year? The Phoenix Battle Royale is a much better idea. I like that. Phoenix Rises. I like that idea. This is my thing, guys. It's just ridiculous. It's not a good look. Other wrestling companies have done plenty of revisionist history and plenty of stuff where they've forgotten things about certain wrestlers. Oh yeah, the Warrior Award. They're honoring the Ultimate Warrior in New Orleans when he knocked the Hurricane Katrina victims and somebody should have beaten his ass just for that. And look that stuff up, by the way. He hated gays, he hated everybody, he hated a ton of people, except he hated, he didn't hate roids. Roid abusing pile of shit in his wife. Sure, take your vitamin <clears throat> S, brother. It sounded like you were mixing Warrior, Savage, and Hogan. Right yes. There. That was great stuff. Bottom line is, and the Warrior War. The Warrior War is bullshit, not for honoring people that are sick. I'm grateful that people can beat diseases, and that's great. It should honor the backstage people and stuff like that, and this is just a little brief thing at the end. But they pick and choose who they want to honor. They honor Jimmy Snuka, who murdered, his, who murdered someone named Nancy, yet they got rid of Benoit, who also murdered someone named Nancy. I'm not saying they should advocate, I'm not advocating Ben Walsh going to the Hall of Fame or he should be remembered. But Snooker shouldn't have been remembered in a positive light either. WWE picks and chooses their stuff. This is the frustrating thing about the company. And maybe, maybe when Vince, be, and I'm just going to quote a line, but you know, CM Punk says, I would like to think this company would be better off when Vince McMahon is dead. But it's just going to get taken over by his idiot dar and his doofus son-in-law and the rest of his stupid family. And yeah, I'm going to quote CM Punk. So that's all I gotta say about that. Fabulous Mula was not good for women's wrestling at all. So what do you guys think? Agree, disagree? What do you think of the fact? Who would you pick to honor the women of, you know, the current women? Somebody from the past. The literally anyone else battle royale. Love it. Love the idea. Eventually, some <laughs> can't someone else do it? So I'm someone else. Anyway, who would you guys pick? Let me know in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Also, there should be some thumbnails somewhere, or there should be some thumbnails, or a thumbnail from that guy. Mission controlled by the, the derb beat, over the there. Beat, the beat, the beat, the beat. That's all, folks. And I will see you later.